Unfortunately, there are many long-term side effects of radiation therapy and chemotherapy, and much of the work that we do in pediatric oncology is trying to is involved in trying to maintain excellent cure rates that we have for most childhood cancers, while reducing the risk of short and long-term effects. Um, some of the effects that we worry about most are effects on the growing heart as children um, get older and their um, hearts uh, need to grow with them. We want to make sure that the chemotherapy or the radiation therapy that we gave them that might involve the heart um, doesn't affect the ability for their heart function and muscle to grow. Um, we want them to have normal fertility when they um, enter into their adult years and to go through puberty normally when they're adolescents. Um, we worry about their uh, cognitive abilities, their abilities to get through school, and some of the effects of radiation and chemotherapy that are delivered to the central nervous system are of concern there. We have many programs to help children um, who are re-entering re school after cancer therapy to help them uh, readapt to school to make sure they're getting the services that they need. Thankfully, most children who finish cancer chemotherapy or radiation therapy don't have any problem with school that they wouldn't have had anyway, um, and, and the children that do well um, uh, do well in the same percentages that they did before cancer. Um, it's only when the brain is involved in the cancer or we need to treat the brain to prevent recurrence of the cancer that we get into that situation. Um, radiation therapy and chemotherapy can both cause cancers. Uh, chemotherapy can sometimes cause leukemia uh, anywhere between four and eight years, ten years after treatment. Uh, and thankfully that's a very low risk um, in children. And then radiation therapy can cause tumors, usually um, later on in adulthood. Uh, we've learned uh, that uh, children who were treated um, in the 70s and 80s, for example, with chest radiation, uh, girls uh, who were treated have a high risk of breast cancer as young women. And much of our research here is devoted to figuring out ways to avoid radiation therapy in the cases that it was used in the 70s and 80s to limit the dose to that area. And then for women who were treated to instruct them about their risks to make sure that they get mammograms and uh, even breast MRI to assure that we can pick up on their breast cancers early and uh, make sure that they don't have uh, breast cancer uh, that uh, is at higher stage than it need be and pick it up when it's still treatable.